Good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, man, this literally does not work. Let's get open for business on this morning where we don't sleep on the Dallas Cowboys. Because literally, you cannot sleep on the Dallas Cowboys because things happen late in the evening, late at night, first thing in the morning. So you want to be up to speed with all that is America's team. And the question I ask, okay, basically, we win one more game, we win the division. It's that simple. And this is what scares me. Because the Cowboys have now won five games in a row, because we are now in the driver's seat, because we don't have much to play for, we get one win, we win the division. Maybe the Bears stumble and we might get a chance to move up to the three seed. I love the fact that this team has to fight. They literally had their sink, their season on the line against Philadelphia, the first game. And it was that way each and every week because they had to stay hungry. They had to win these games because they, let's face it, three and five, they lose to the Eagles. Season's done. You're the New York stinking Giants, although the Giants, they went out and get a whole lot of help. They still are alive. But this having to win, the pressure, has been a driving force. And you look at past experiences of us being in the playoffs with Jason Garrett, where we've been the top dog and we get to rest and everything else. We don't play people the last week. We go in there flat-footed and lose. But I wonder if we've had a change in DNA. If instead of going the safe route, that we're taking more chances, that we're trying to open up things a little bit more. That fourth quarter was an offensive explosion. Now, granted, Amari Cooper is basically saying, you know, we keep doing that stop route and they keep shutting it down. Let's go for it. And Dak was like, nah, we got to go what's called. But then called it off. And boom, it's a touchdown. You have to wonder if the offense has been hampered by the fear of failure, the fear of risk. Because it's easy to be in your safe zone and say, okay, I'm not going to put myself out there. The problem with being in the safe zone is if you do not try, then you fail. It's that simple. If you do not take risk in life, you're never going to achieve. And I think about everything in my life that I put myself out there. This right here. It was easy when I first started in doing a Joe Boo report because it wasn't me. It wasn't my face on the camera. It was just a voodoo doll. I'm taking pictures and I'm just talking behind the scenes. It's easy. People don't know who I am. All they see is a doll that's talking. That's cute. That's funny. It's hard to get ridiculed. Well, actually, it's not hard. But they're ridiculing the doll, not so much me. But then Benet Embry asked me to be on his show as a sports guy. What? I've never done anything like that. And scared to death of failure. But I went there and started doing it. And doing that, scared as could be, nervous as could be, my voice is kind of wrinkled and stuff. I put myself out there. And it led to great things. It's led to all of this now. Now I love talking to public. I was scared to talk in public before. Very, very shy. Still inside. I'm very, very shy. But sometimes you have to take that risk if you want to move up. And I got to tell you, when we were knee-deep in that game, going in fourth quarter, it was fourth down. And... Oh, my goodness. Fourth down. Wow. 
fourth and one in overtime. Jason Garrett's gonna try and man up. left to go in overtime. If nothing else, there won't be any time for the Eagles left over. That goes. Okay. That's what we're talking about. Dak Prescott, he's like, you know what? We got to get this. This is what you call a championship type drive. This is where you man up when things are going wrong and you just take it down there. Two minutes, 58 seconds. The Dallas Cowboys have had the ball for over seven minutes in overtime. Second and four. Third down and seven. Two minutes to go in the game. against the Redskins instead of trying to get closer instead of trying to get to the end zone and win the game we settle for a long field goal and get a penalty and miss it and lose a game against the Texans fourth down and one and instead we punt the ball but there in that moment because four minutes left the Eagles offense has come to life you give them an opportunity now with four minutes to go all they need is a field goal those are the kind of games and kinds of ways we used to lose football. Giving the other team opportunities, taking the safe route, not putting yourself out there. But it was that moment in my mind that we decided to say enough of the bull crap. We're going to go win this thing right now. We're going to man the hell up. We're going to take control. And we are going to take our destiny, and we are going to score. And that, my friends, has not been the Dallas Cowboys in quite a while. I'm hoping, I'm praying that this is the Dallas Cowboys that is tenacious. Because let's make this point perfectly clear. That's a game the Cowboys should have lost. When you have, this is what's incredible, when you have over 100 yards of penalties and three turnovers, you know what the winning chances are? One out of 73 games. One time that a team has had three turnovers and 100 yards and penalties, 
they turned around and won out of 74 times. That one being this game. You're not going to always play a perfect game. You're not always going to have the best game plan. But good teams find a way to win when things aren't going right. You lose a Zach Martin. You're getting penalties. You got turnovers. But you find a way to win. In the past, we would find a way to lose. Make no mistake about it. This Dallas Cowboys team is different. And I am so proud to be a Dallas Cowboy fan. I'm excited. From where we were some five weeks ago to where we are right now. Hmm. I'm just curious. What all the Cowboy fans who gave up on the team are doing these days. I'm Mark Holmes, and I'll see you guys soon.